With that, everyone, good evening and welcome to the San Antonio Riverwalk. I'm Dan Limblad. It's been a great day here in South Central Texas. This, this place has been lively with OU and Arizona fans, especially now that we are less than 24 hours away from kickoff of the Valero Alamo Bowl. Now, bowl buy or player buy-in has been a huge topic around bowl games, especially this year with the portal, with NIL, with going to the NFL. Of course, Sooners will be without Dylan Gabriel. He's transferred to Oregon. They're also going to be without former Broken Arrow Tiger Andrew Rehm. He's going to rest up for the Senior Bowl and then try to see what the NFL has in store for him. Still, though, OU will have 70 scholarship players. They're trying to win 11 games in a season for the 27th time in school history. And then on the other side, Arizona is just trying to win 10 games for the fourth time in school history. Brent Venable saying, though, he admires the buy-in from his side as well as the other side. They've got NFL guys all over the place. They've got players that can go anywhere in the country that are in high man, de demand in, in the landscape of college football, yet these players have chosen to stay. And so they're connected to something. Incredibly as efficient of a football team as we've seen all year might be the best opponent that we've seen all year. You know, when you look at who they are and what they are, it's a huge part of the game. But, um, you know, just like I told our staff this morning, the next 24, 48 hours, whatever it is until kickoff, now we've got to just treat this like now we're, we're ready to play a game. It's not about a bowl game. It's not about who we're playing. It's how we always prepare. It'll also be an emotional game of sorts for Seth Luttrell, his first as OU's co-offensive coordinator, coaching for the team he played for, but also the team he watched growing up in Muskogee. You know, my mom always sitting over there and, and telling us, you know, telling me, you know, I was going to follow my father's footsteps, have the opportunity to play for a national championship at Oklahoma, and she said that a long time ago, and I would get so excited, and then we would say our prayers tonight, and that's the honest God truth. This place obviously means everything to me. Uh, I've been trying to get back here for 23 years. We're, we're going we're gonna to do everything we can to, to go out, compete, win championships. And obviously the trail doesn't have a ton of time to change from when Jeff Levy announced he was going to Mississippi State, but it's still a taste of what's to come. And it will be kind of a changing of the guard game. Of course, it's going to be the last time OU is going to wear that Big 12 patch in a football game. You have Jackson Arnold, who's going to make his first college start. And also you're going to have a bunch of guys who might not have seen the field more often than not. But guys like Ethan Downs and Danny Stutzman, guys who have been around for a while, they say this game is special to them. We know the standard. We know how to uphold it. And uh, we know what OU means because, like Billy said, we picked it from the beginning. And we've been here, we've stayed here through all the chaos and all the craziness of the last three years. Uh, you know, why not? Why not be a leader? Why not try to chase every dream and every goal and give it our very best? And uh, this is a championship. we got to win. And there has been a lot of chatter around OU and around, you know, what this is going to look like. But all that matters is they kick off tomorrow night, 8.20 p.m. Again, it's another late kickoff between OU and Arizona, one of the few top 15 matchups in the bowl season. Also tonight, the Thunder picked up another huge home win, 129-120 to 120 over the New York Knicks. Jalen Williams, career high, 36 points. How about that for your future? From the San Antonio Riverwalk, I'm Dan Limblad, Tunis Oklahoma Sports. We'll be right back.